lot of my subscriber i think that they know that the css type how we what is called and how we can actually apply this so i got some question about this from my subscriber they don't know maximum of my subscriber they don't know what is this and how we can apply this so css type we know that basically three type of css that is inline css external css so in line, internal and external three type of css so in this video we will apply this how we can apply this all of this css in line of this so we started this video so here you can see i have basic html file added here and now inside this body text here i will add a class name that is here i'm going to add a class container and inside of this i will add some text that is lorem so here i'm going to add not 100 exactly let's set 30 so it will be 30 words of text it will be contained in it here so you can see the container this classes is text is almost successfully generated here so if you want to make this type of this css type is so if you want to apply this this is here directly implement this here so first of all i'm going to show that inline of css so here if you're going to inline this style so here in the inline is basically this css will be applied for this on every content or every container on this inline here so first of all you need to complete that is a style file you need to cover what the style equal and double quotation inside of this you need to type this all of this code here I'm going to type this first of all padding so here i'm going to type this 20 pixel padding and this is of container you need to be close tag on all of this element of css every time so then we're going to add a font size so let's add font size and font size is i'm going to add 2 rem and after closing that and now we'll add a font to it so it will be blot and after adding this so now i will add a some margin so that is margin i'm going to add some that is 20 percent from this top and bottom and from the left is here i'm going to make it around to 10 percent okay so when you're going to say that the viewpoint let's open it so you can see the viewpoint is like this so let's add some color on this background so that you can see easily here so let's go to this inline css so here i will type this background so here i'm going to add a background that is hashtag one on black and i will set this color color is white so that we can visible this all text and here i'm getting also add a border radius border radius that is five pixel so that's it this is the inline css where inline css type you can see that that is all is working and perfectly everything is working here so when you are going to apply this this is inline css how you can write this basically you can write like this type of style as quotation this is the inline of css so let's go to this how we can add this internal css so i will copy this all element from here and cut it from here so i will remove that inline css from here so inside of this here basically when we are connecting that directly the style file opening here so and this it this need to definition by this container classes so here i will apply these classes so let's apply here and we need to open this basic css file why how much we write it this as we write it this external file also this is the same process here i'm going to using that so let's paste that css so let's paste it and now let's see you can see the viewpoint also the same so you can write this two type is gone already that is inline and this another one is internal so now let's see how we can apply this external css so for external css we need to add by linking here so here i'm going to add a linking that is style dot css okay so now i need to create a file in this folder so style dot css so after adding this so this folder we will go this file is this css how to make from there okay sorry so we need to copy that external total css from here to this point to from this starting point and now we can close this so let's close this item here and now we need to set this for this and now we need to copy this and this paste here so you can see from this we have copied from the internal css from the container classes to and this is starting to end places from here so after adding this completely and let's go to back and let's save this file and let's open with the live server and you can see the viewpoint is the same as we see on this inline internal css and external css is the same process so this is the css basically css is cascade style so we can this css is basically used for this of element is designing for this of elementary system here 
so all this coded you can you can make this three type of this this is this basically you can style this all of type but basically mostly if you wanted to make a project this perfect project here so you can use that external css it's mostly recommended here to here but if you want to make some this is little bit of css so you can apply this in style inline css like this style quotation tag using or if you want to have some if you don't want to connect it that this is style file on from external css so it can be take some of delay from where you are loading your website like this so for that reason we can add this internal css by just liking this on this style tag close and start and closing tag inside of this you can write this all of css as like this so if you enjoy this video if you enjoy this please like on this video and share it with your friends and please subscribe thanks for watching this video